For over 100 years, copper mining and milling operations have produced a concentrate that is further refined into copper sheets that are sold as a metal commodity. The reality is, however, low concentrations of copper are sacrificed when they are less than economical to capture. Thus, mining operations often leave stranded reserves of copper in the ground or elsewhere in the process stream. Since the late 19th century, Butte, Montana was known as the richest hill on earth for its historic copper resources. The Butte Hill was the site of both underground and open pit mining. While open pit mining continues today, by 1982, mining underground and in the Berkeley pit ended, and the water pumps that kept the mines dry were turned off. Since it has no outlet, the Berkeley pit has been filling with both underground mine water and surface water ever since. Today, it is a body of water a mile wide, one and a half miles long, and over a thousand feet deep. It holds some 40 billion gallons of water that contains uniform concentrations of copper and other base metals such as zinc in an acidic solution. Everclear and Technology Partners Electrochemical Design Associates have brought to market a commercially viable process to concentrate, extract, and to plate low concentrations of copper from the waters of former mining sites like the Berkeley Pit. We have systematically moved from a technically sound research concept to laboratory analysis, and finally to the design and fabrication of a commercial grade pilot unit, what we call the Initial Production Unit, or IPU. Transported to Montana and reassembled in an existing warehouse, the IPU began processing pit water and extracting copper within two weeks of its arrival. Everclear Solutions has been hosted by Montana Resources and given the opportunity to prove the operation of the IPU using feed water pumped directly from the Berkeley pit. Pit water with copper concentrations of less than 200 parts per million is fed to ionic exchange columns where chemically selective resins strip the copper to form an enriched copper stream that is rinsed from the resin. You change your color to green Stripping the iron off first. Once the iron comes off, it'll take the copper off. So it's really turning green here. This copper rich regenerant is fed to our proprietary high surface area contact cells, where solid copper is electrochemically bound to a base material held within the cells. Once loaded with copper, the high surface area contact cells are transferred to the refining tank where copper is plated to stainless steel cathodes. Yeah. The plated copper has an assay purity above 99.996%. Mick, this is what you say it's all about, the yeah. copper off the sheet? This is what we do. All right. Which meets both the London Metals Exchange and oh, Comdex perfect. requirements for commodity copper. Exactly what we came here to do. One sheet of copper. This breakthrough technology makes it economically viable to reach back and recover metals like copper that previously had been left stranded over time by the limits of other past and current technologies. Meeting London Metals Exchange criteria for four nines purity. 